What a character. He had everything. Like, he was, he was kind. He was rude. <laughs> yeah. He was arrogant. Yeah. He was brilliant. He, like, what a personality and what like, i was fortunate enough to meet him a few times but there's loads and loads of stories about him and i gotta tell you this jim mark crosley told me this he was in the room it's it, it's out it's, a, it's this is a lesson for any footballer stuart pierce gets picked for england right so he's asked Piercy when can he get back after the game it was a tuesday night game when can he get back in time for training yeah so he said thursday four o'clock thursday thursday so he, Thursday comes along, he calls a meeting, gets all the players in the dressing room, and he puts a towel down on the floor and a football on it. He always used to put a towel on the floor with the ball, and he'd kick the ball off the towel and say, that's when we play with the ball on the floor. So he puts the pl he comes in with a plastic bag, there was obviously something heavy in the bag, and he puts the ball on the towel. And now he walks back to the back of the dressing room and he says, young man to Stuart Pearce, how do you think you played for England in midweek? He said, I've done all right. He said, I didn't think so. <laughs> I thought you were shocking. <laughs> what do you think, lads? And they'll, nobody said anything. So he's, so he's gone, uh, well, our captain, lads, is a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> so Pacey said, what do you mean? He goes, well, on last week's programme, page nine, bottom left corner, there's an advert in there, Stuart Pearce Electrics. Explain what what's that? <laughs> he said, "Well, what, I, when I was playing non-league, we had electric electrical family business, and I'm just trying to keep the business going." Lads, our captain's a fraud. <laughs> he said, "What do you mean?" He said, "Well, if my Barbara rings that number, are you going to answer it if her light bulb's gone in her house?" <laughs> he said, "No, it'd be my brother." Well, you're a fraud then, son, because it says you'll come. <laughs> And if and if if you're any good at that, he opens the bag, takes the bag over to him, takes an iron out of the bag. My Barbara's iron is broken. <laughs> Fix it by Saturday, or you're not playing. <laughs> Walked out. <laughs> so Pierce, he's fixed the iron. He's fixed it and put it on his desk Saturday he morning fixed to fix the iron yeah, to make sure he played. That's how you get your feet back on the ground.